Good morning. It's Barbara. 52 degrees. Dennis thinks we might have our wine on the deck this afternoon. We shall see. Mm, there's my view. <laughs> These are so fun. I watered them today just in case they needed it. Good morning. It's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. My second cup. I got up a little earlier, to, out of bed a little earlier today because I didn't sleep well at all. And so I brought Dennis some tea and sat down here quietly for a little while and finished my first cup of coffee. I needed it. I'm wearing my gym clothes because I'm taking Aura to her physical therapy today. And I'm going to at least ride the bicycle for 20 minutes. I mean, I'm not saying I'm exercising the whole time she's there. But every little bit helps, right? <laughs> so I did a lot of knitting yesterday. I'll show you my progress and my dilemma. I, I'm not sure what my problem is, <laughs> but I, you know, I have two sleeves that I wanted to finish. Here's one. I have X amount of yarn. Do I weigh the yarn and see what half of it is and blah, blah, blah? No, I do not. So I don't know how much yarn it took for me to finish my sleeves. Yeah, I have a garter stitch on the bottom. So I'm working on the next sleeve. And I've got quite a bit of it done. Let's see. I think that's four decreases, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight decreases. So I have four more decreases to go, although I think they'll speed up a little bit if, if this one's going to match my other one. My other sleeve. This is how much yarn I have left. So I did tell you that I thought I might have made the body a little bit longer than it needed to be. Well, I can guarantee you that I will be knitting the cuff. If this isn't enough, which it's very highly likely it isn't, then I will be knitting the rest of the cuff of this sleeve off the bottom of the sweater. <laughs> then I will unravel the bottom of the sweater back as far as, you know, I'm going to want to have the garter stitch. It's not showing this very well. As long as I will want the garter stitch, I'll unravel that and then re-knit it with garter stitch. But I am very close to finishing my bistro sweater in this wonderful yarn and I you know I've enjoyed every minute knitting with this yarn I can tell you thank you thank you thank you Benta oh gorge us all right so that's my dilemma so this is how much I have if it's enough for the sleeve I'll be shocked pleasantly shocked and then I'll have to scrounge around scraps so that I can bind off the bottom of the sweater. <laughs> I might still have to tear it back and start the garter a little sooner because it's not enough garter stitch on the bottom. But that's what I did yesterday. Yeah, we walked the dogs. It wasn't a pretty nice day yesterday. Today is going to be gorgeous. So it's 11, quarter after 11, and it's in the 50s now. And it says it's going up to 60. So that will be really nice. So other than knitting, I'm taking Aura to physical therapy. I'm not sure what else I'm doing. She has two pairs of pants that are, you know, knit, stretchy, pull-on pants that she's had forever. I'm sure. But she has lost weight since she went on keto with us. And those pants now hang way too low, and she's going to trip herself. So I have those two pairs of pants down here, and my pinking shears. So I am going to cut off those pants and hem them for her. 
so that she has more pants she can wear. She'll have more pants to wear too. We had trouble finding pants for her today, but she has a load of clothes in her hamper, so Dennis is gonna do her laundry today, and that should help too. So, get her all fixed up there. But, um, so some of my knitting time will go into hemming time. <laughs> but, yeah, she's she's lost about 15 pounds yeah, since she's been here since October. She claims that she's happy with the food situation and we're not starving her and she loves her meals. And, of course, Dennis is an amazing cook. So... She's not complaining, except that she's going to kill herself tripping over her pants. Now, if I could just eat like I feed her, I would lose 15 pounds, too, and I would be happy with that. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm definitely working on it. So today is a little bit of hand work. I'm going to ride the bicycle at least at physical therapy. Um, <clears throat> from where I sit in the lobby, I, I don't remember what other machines he has. I can only see the bicycles. So I know I'm going to ride the bicycle and that may be enough. I am so out of shape that, you know, 15 minutes on the bicycle is going to feel like forever. But it'll be good for me and, I, and I, it'll make me happy to have done that. Yeah. So there you are. Yeah, I can't think of what I did. I did a lot of knitting yesterday, so I guess I guess that's it. Dennis switched out the chair. We ended up with an extra office chair, like a desk chair. Somehow Dennis got a new one, and I, anyway. So I had him switch out the chair that I had in my room for the other other one because the one in my room was big and heavy didn't move well on the carpet and it just made working in that room difficult it's hard to move your chair it's in the way because it's so big I mean I didn't, wasn't sure we would be able to get it out of the room because we have a bookshelf right up close to our to my door which makes my door width a little bit smaller Dennis was eventually able to get it out, but it was tough. The new one just rolled right in. So it's much smaller, it's much lighter, and I have a feeling it's going to make a difference in my enjoyment of actually working in my room. Now, I can't actually work in my room until I straighten up my room. But we did do that yesterday, and I felt like that was going to make a big difference for me. In my room. It made me smile. So that's it. Not any news around here. Pearl has perked up so much. Follow up on Pearl. In her, um, the doctor gave her this anti-inflammatory. She's just like her old self again. She must have been in so much pain. I feel terrible. Well, you know, we went through that whole thing with the antibiotics, and who knew, you know, how long that, you know, kept going. But she never got back to her playful, sort of, you know, active self. And, you know, and was limping, and so we were worried. So this anti-inflammatory must be working great guns because Dennis, two days ago, two or three days ago, he like was like, oh my gosh, she brought her squeaky in for me. Because it used to be every time Dennis walked in the kitchen to start something, because, you know, cooking is his hobby, she'd come in and squeak, squeak at him to get him to play with her while he was in the kitchen. I mean, it was just an automatic thing. It was part of their ritual together. And she hadn't done it. We, It hadn't clicked with me that she hadn't done it in a long time until she did it. And I'm like, oh, my God. And she and Maisie are wrestling again a little bit. And she's just clearly, clearly more herself. 
and and in less pain and uh, it's so nice it's so nice so we couldn't get her retested for anaplasmosis which is the tick disease that she had because she's going to test positive for a few years because it's at it's an antibody test and you know the antibodies will stick around so we just are assuming that the girls are better I mean we don't know what else to do we didn't see any um, symptoms or anything so so Pearl will be getting an x-ray in April Dennis booked her for her x-ray at the same day that Maze is getting her grooming so we'll just take both dogs and they'll stay all day because they're gonna have to put her out to take the x-ray just see if there's something that can be done for her back leg that will improve things for her because you know she's compensating for that leg um, so anyway that's the update on Pearl so she is her perky cheerful self again and it's so nice to have her back I don't think we have it I haven't heard any updates from the kids I'm assuming um, that all is going well with Samantha but I haven't actually heard and yeah very bad sleeping night for me but par for the course I have a few good nights and then I have a bad night so it's okay except I'm supposed to exercise today and I gotta do it because now I brought it up there they're gonna think oh she's a lazy if I don't so there you go so that's it my plans are maybe finish my sleeve finish my sleeve at least and maybe my sweater could happen and um him or his pants so she has more clothes <laughs> i don't know if you can hear that that was the uh, cheese cutter that dennis just waggled to get maze down because he's giving pearl her medicine which means both dogs get get treats <laughs> maze's is just cheese <laughs> Anyway, all right, I'm going to go. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe and stay sane. Oops. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>